Well, hello from Cambridge, hello from the Institute of Marketing Practice, and welcome to the swamp. Well, first, no, this Cambridge swamp has nothing in common with the wet, frequently flooded, and sometimes gloomy fens which surround us here in East Anglia. This swamp is not wet, it is flooded only with practical advice, and I, the mask marketer of Cambridge, will certainly do my best not to make it gloomy. But you will probably want to know a bit more about Swamp before spending several minutes of your valuable time here on a video, however short. Who needs it anyway, this Swamp thing? You will probably ask, is it for me? Is it for a friend, a relative, a partner? What is the Swamp when it's not a wetland? What is Swamp for? And how does one get Swamp to work, change my life, and make a difference? make the world a better place even. And finally, what are its origins? Where does swamp come from? A clue, a long way away from Cambridge. Okay, first question, who is swamp for? Well, it's not for everyone. Here's a health warning for anyone thinking of using swamp. Be warned, keep a safe distance. Don't even think of engaging with this swamp if you're not prepared to dive in deep and swim hard. Swamp rewards persistence, but it is very demanding. Are you competitive? Do you like to win? Do you like to make things happen? Are you one of those special people who want to make a real difference? At work, at home, in class, down the pub even? Are you energetic, ready for a tough challenge, a real self-starter, not waiting for orders, itching to get going? If the answer is no, I'm not competitive. I don't want to make a difference, not to my life and not to the life of others. I'm not a self-starter. I'm not energetic. Then don't swim in this swamp. Find yourself a safer space, a quieter place to paddle. Swamp is for active people. Swamp is not for observers. Swamp is demanding. Swamp is hard. But if you do see yourself as active, competitive, a winner, energetic, a self-starter, and really wanting to make a difference, you've come to the right place. Come on in. The water's cool. It's challenging. True, but it's invigorating. It rewards the effort. So, what is this swamp thing? Well, swamp is something of a shapeshifter. It comes in several guises. Not exactly mystique for this X-Men fan. She is my favorite shapeshifter. But swamp, too, covers a lot of territory. Only a few of them touched on in this video. An acronym, of course. A set of letters. But swamp can be seen as a matrix, where life is grown and nurtured. Swamp is a powerful career builder. It's also a potent money maker, if that's what you want of it. Few of us have enough of that stuff. If you aren't nurturing, career building, or digging for gold, Swamp can help you manage relationships. Relationships of every type. Relationships with friends, colleagues, customers, partners, mentors, teachers, fellow students, the boss even. All relationships can be managed and developed with Swamp by developing Brand Me, and more of that later. But for the next few minutes, think of Swamp as a powerful toolkit. See it as a box of tools for crafting value. Swamp exists for one purpose and one purpose only, to craft objects and ideas of value to other human beings and value for you its creator. Swamp is all about value creation. Value has to be stored, or all the work that goes into creating and building the value of an object or of an idea is wasted. Think of all the value created by Apple over years of developing, advertising, and distributing a smartphone. That value is stored in just one word, a label, iPhone. The value created by Apple is stored in brand iPhone. The value created during 65 years in thousands of fast food restaurants serving billions of hamburgers is stored in a word, a brand, McDonald's. The value Swamp creates, too, has to be stored. And the place that value is stored, just as in the case of Apple and iPhone and McDonald's, is stored in a brand. Swamp is all about brands. Swamp creates and builds value in a brand from its inception. In the hands of its manager, any brand can be created and built by Swamp, and these are just a few. A brand for profit, a not-for-profit brand. A business-to-consumer brand like Apple or iPhone. A business-to-business -business brand like IBM. A manufacturer brand like Samsung. A retailer brand like Tesco, Carrefour or Walmart. A personal brand. Taylor Swift, Michael Jackson, Madonna, Ariana Grande, Bad Bunny, all personal brands. A charity brand like the World Wildlife Fund, Greenpeace, Save the Children. A political brand like the Democrat Party, the Conservative Party, what I call a taxpayer brand like the NHS. A tourism brand, Chatsworth for example, Stately Home, Disney World, 
and sports brands like Adidas and Nike. Any brand can be built with Swamp, including, and most important of all to every one of us, Brand Me, the brand on your birth certificate and mine, and the one whose value matters to each one of us for life. In the course of time, we'll post videos that touch on as many of these special areas as we can get round to. But for now, this is a one-size-fits-all swamp, universal swamp, a swamp that works for all these brands and more. Time to put swamp to work. So how is it used? How does swamp weave its magic to create sustainable value in a brand? It is actually very straightforward. First, swamp dictates that a brand offers unique value to those we will call its customers and ensures that they recognize that value. Then, over time, Swamp aims to coax or prod customers into increasing degrees of loyalty to a brand, storing and sustaining the value of the brand, which may or may not be financial, to the benefit of its owner. Simples, as Alexandra the Meerkat himself, a valuable brand, would certainly say. Of course, Swamp is an acronym, a set of letters, a meme perhaps, each one a link in the value-creating chain. Let's call our brand Brand X. S is for Set Brand X Objectives, W for Weaponize Brand X for the strategy, which sets it apart from competitors. A for Advertise Brand X as different from its competitors. M for Measure Brand X Progress. And P for Prod or Coax Brand X up the swamp loyalty ladder. Let's go a bit deeper. But first, by definition, value simply cannot exist in a vacuum. Value has to have context. Like any object, in order for a brand to have value, it must have value to or for somebody or somebodies. You can call them what you like, but we will call them customers. They could be consumers, voters, donors, friends, partners, bosses, teachers, students. Some call them targets. Professional marketers often do, but we will call them customers, more friendly. And before we do anything, we have to identify them. Only with that done can we put Swamp to work. A prequel to Swamp. Identify. Consider it done. Now, where to start? S for set objectives. If you don't know where you want to go, you will not get there. You must have objectives for any task or project. So too for your brand. Set objectives for your brand. You can set as many or as few objectives as you like, but every brand must have these three value-creating objectives as its launch pad. First, get Brand X recognized as offering unique value to its customers. Second, coax or prod customers into loyalty to Brand X. And three, in this way, grow Brand X as a sustainably valuable asset for its owner or owners. So, set objectives without fail. Now, how do we get there? How do we reach our objectives? Our brand isn't going to get there without a fight. Life is tough, and there are always competitors. You have to weaponize your brand, W for weaponize, and that means you have to give it a strategy. Objectives tell us where to go. A strategy tells us how to get there. We know the objectives. How do we equip our brand to get there? The strategy is always be different. Your brand must be different from competitors, and it must be seen to be different. Different. Be different. What you are must be different. If you're not, why should you be chosen in preference to a competitor? Michael Porter was speaking of the harsh battleground of commerce when he said there are only two strategies for a business. Be low cost or be different. A low cost doesn't work for long. You won't get chosen forever by being cheap. Be different. Be seen to be different. No good being different if no one knows. You have to be seen to be different and do that by saying you are different. Your brand strategy is to be different and be seen to be different. A is for advertise. It's in italics, so you don't think it means going out and buying TV spots, contracting pop-up ads on the web, or in playing a light plane to write your message on the sky. Advertising brand me doesn't need a million pound ad spot on Downton Abbey or the Super Bowl. Advertising comes from a Latin word, to bring to someone's attention, have people notice. Bring your brand to the attention of your target, whether it's a customer, a consumer, a voter, a donor, or just a friend. Do it for free, do it in conversation, do it in emails, do it cheap, but do it. And follow the strategy, to be seen as different. Tell them you're different, in every message, in every impact, in every medium, email, conversation, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, everywhere, every time. Every chance you have to say you are different, say it. M is for measure your brand's progress. It has objectives, it has a strategy. Remember Get Brand X recognized as offering unique value to its customers? Well, how am I doing? Remember Grow Brand X as a sustainably valuable asset for its own or owners? How am I doing? Remember Be Different? Be Seen to be Different? How am I doing? Remember Coax customers into loyalty to Brand X. 
coax customers up the loyalty ladder. How am I doing? Ah, yes, that loyalty ladder. We've come to the last letter of the SWAMP acronym, P for prodding our brand up the loyalty ladder. So what is the brand loyalty ladder? It's a ladder from ignorance to loyalty. Each rung is a step towards loyalty. The climb is steep, but manageable in stages, from total ignorance of our brand to brand loyalty. Nine rungs. Brand awareness. Brand knowledge. Positive brand attitude. Intention. The intention to buy, vote, donate, befriend our brand. Intention to engage. Intention turns into action, real engagement. Then comes satisfaction with the experience, repeat engagement, sustained satisfaction, and, in due course, loyalty. Coax your target up that ladder, rung by rung, and you will get there to loyalty eventually. And with loyalty, a brand of greatest benefit to you, the owner. Simples again. And that's all there is to Swamp. Ah, yes. Where does Swamp come from? Far away and long ago. Here on the banks of the Ohio River, Cincinnati, home to P&G, the Procter and Gamble Company since 1837. In 1931, they completed the process of raising brand management from the intuitive to the methodical and appointed the first corporate brand manager. Strikingly, every one of the chief executives of this giant multinational since that day nearly 100 years ago is or has been a brand manager. Swamp encapsulates that methodology in a simple acronym for creating sustainable brand value. Set objectives, weaponize, advertise, measure and prod. Coax is probably a better word, but begins with C, not P. But however you do it, the end is loyalty. And that is all that matters to a brand and its owner. Thanks for watching this introduction, and we hope to see you again back here at the Cambridge Institute of Marketing Practice.